Dear science father, I will introduce the paper I have published in, in, entitled Phononic Orange of Strain Controlled Friction Funds. I come from China, Langu University of Technology, and my name is Yun Dong. I will introduce this paper from uh, Fa Pans. Friction almost occurs in any two relatively moving contact surfaces, especially micro nano electronic mechanical systems, biological structures, and mechanical equipment from microscopic to microscopic contacts. The phenomenon associated with friction is encountered in people's daily lives and industrial production leading to the failure of vital component, components and mechanical equipment. About one-third of world's main energy is consumed by friction, and the failure caused by wear of mechanical parts accounts for 17% to 80% of the total failure causes. Therefore, reducing the energy loss caused by friction is of great significance to improve the utilization, rate of energy, and prolong the service lifetime of mechanical parts. To this end, Harry put forward two concepts. The polar sitting. The C polar sitting characterized based on solid lubrication materials. Graphene has elegant uh, Trifological properties due to its high mechanical, chemical iner inertness, high mechanical strength, and easy shearing ability. In addition, graphene as a two-dimensional material with high specific surface area, simple phonal dispersion relation, can replace solid films. Com commonly used to reduce adhesion and friction of various surfaces. Many studies have shown that physical and chemical modifications can be applied to reduce the friction forms of graphene relative to sliding surfaces. And uh, numerous investigators found that the friction forms between uh, 2D materials can be reduced by applying strain due to the mismatch of the interfacial lenses. In fact, friction is a percent of dissipating mechanical energy consuming into energy, thermal energy carried by phonons, which has been studied extensively. However, it is like how friction excites funnels in the strain control strain modulant friction system and how funnels dissipate into heat are still largely unknown. In this work, on the basis of the strain control friction model, the underlying mechanism of energy dissipation in the friction percent is clearly analyzed by FFT of a instantaneous friction and density of stain at contact surfaces. First, the dependence of normal load, sliding velocity, and the temperature of friction forms and the corresponding energy barrier at different strengths is studied. Second, the contribution of different vibration frequencies to friction is elucidated by FFT spectrum. Finally, the variation of energy dissipation in friction forms in friction percents is expounded quantitatively by the number of excited phonons and the interface. The highlights of this paper uh, are four. First, employing a fast Fourier transform of a tenuous friction and interfacial phonal spectrum, phonic orange of friction between graph layers, in which one layer suffers different picture strain is disclosed. FFT spectrum indicates washboard frequency make major contribution 
to friction. Peak value in FFT spectrum decreases uh, with increase of strain, leading to drop of friction. There is a unified follow spectrum on relative sliding surfaces at zero strain, which can establish effective energy dissipation channels. Once the strain is applied, unified phonon modes are no longer formed, which destroy the conditions for establishment of energy dissipation channels and thus hardens energy dissipation. The friction force is quantitatively analyzed by using the number of phonons excited in the friction interface. The statistics showing that with the increase of strain, the phonons excited in the friction forms are less, resulting in the lower friction energy dissipation. The simulation method. Figure 1. In a sense, a typical system in which a small square graphic flag lines over a graphic substrate supported by a rigid graphic specimen. To ensure that the position of the substrate is fixed during the, during the deep sliding, the bottom graphic layer and the edge ranges of upper layer in the substrate are fixed by freezing on 6 degrees of freedom to control its transition and rotation. Additionally, to simul simulate the slight distance of the AFM cantilever during friction measurements, each deep atom, atom is attached to a spring with stiffly KX and this spring is connected to a virtual slider in the X direction. For eliminate for eliminating the deep transition along y axis and the rotation around the z axis, as well as the translation along z axis during the sliding process, two sets of spring are applied to each atom in y and z directions of the tip, and the spring stiffness coefficients are ky and kz, respectively. The stiffness of AF cantilever in the cor correction friction experiment is set between 0 0.1275 uh, N per meter. While the stiffness is as high as 5000 in the, rel the relevant MT, MT simulations, the maximum Stiffness used in these empty simulations is 518, which means that this value is set reasonably and can ensure that the slight extent of the tip remains stable. The per periodic other conditions are applied to the tip and substrate in both the x and y directions, and free boundary conditions along the z directions. The be actual strength strengths exerted on the substrate in the simulation process are realized by directly changing the lattice constant of graphene. The simulations are implemented in a micros, micro NVE ensemble with a um, Bertelsen thermostat to st stabilize the system temperature and uh, 0 K and 300 K. The thermostat is applied to the atoms toy the fixed ends of the upper layer in the substrate. The LG potential is applied to the inner interactions of the atoms between any two graphene membranes. The value of the LG parameters is referenced from reference 13, in which a well depth and equilibrium constant are applied. The tussle, the tussle potential is used to characterize the carbon carbon coupled bond among interlayer atoms. The initial dimension of the substrate along the x and y directions. Um, 
10.47 nanometers and 22.45 nanometers. And the size of the tip is 10.47 um, multiply uh, 10.33 uh, nanometers nanometers combined with the periodic boundary conditions the atoms of the deep and the substrate are always excited each other during friction due to the same size of the contact surfaces in the slightly direction to ensure that all four nodes excited by the relative slightly surface surface can be extracted before annihilation during the friction process. The simulation time step is set as 1.5 femisecond. Similar to the literature 32, all simulations are performed using the LAMPS software. According to the friction model established in Finger 1, the friction characteristics between graphene layers are the different strengths are calculated. At first, the tip and the substrate are in a relatively stable state, and the atoms are in an equilibrium position shortly afterwards. A constant velocity of 80 um, meters per second is um, imposed on the slide along the x direction so that the tip atoms are uh, continuously dragged into the local potential wells. If there is no strain or the applied strain is extremely strong or small, the tip motion will lead to a cyclical discontinuously slide, namely the stick slip phenomenon. As shown in figure 2a, with the increase of the applied tensile strain, the peak value and asymmetry of stick slip, stick slip curves gradually weaken, as shown in figure 2b, which means that with the increase of applied tensile strain, the energy dispersion of Friction gradually decreases, and the friction stand changes from stick step to stable continuous study. These results are consistent with the previous research results. The effects of different normal nodes and the temperatures of the friction of strained graphic films are further investigated, where the normal nodes applied on each atoms. Um, 0.25 nanometer nanonewton and 1.75 nanonewton at the temperature are set at 0k and 300k respectively. We find that the strain dependent average friction curves indicate the same trend although normal forms at the temperature change. As shown in the figure 2c, the value of the energy barrier derived from the net change is the maximum and minimum value of the weather wise potential between the graph layers, and its magnitude can reflect the level of difficulty in overcoming the frictional atoms when the atoms are relatively slightly. It is apparent that when the strain is less than the critical value of 0 0.02, the deep atoms need to drop over a higher energy barrier to sleep due to the strong lattice mismatch between tip and the substrate. Therefore, the friction force is significantly, and it can be observed that the average Friction force decreases rapidly with the increase of strain. In addition, the friction force and 300k are less than those and 0k under the same normal load. This is because of the thermal excitation and 300k can provide enough energy to overcome the local potential barrier and enable sleep. 
thus the interfacial friction decreases. Moreover, comparing the bearings with the applying the normal loads of 0.17 nanonewton per atom and 0.13 nanonewton per atom, as shown in figure 2D, the chief atoms the team atoms need to overcome a significantly larger energy, energy other higher loads needed to increase in friction in figure 2C. One strain above 0 0.02, the deep atoms can easily slide into the next low potential whereby overcoming a very low barrier and keep sliding the steep velocities with the like needable friction funds. The, the velocity friction funds at different strengths, temperature, and the normal loads are also extensively investigated as shown in figure 3a when the slide velocity increases from 4 to 56. On the friction curve, show you various upward trend with the long grain of, of velocity, which agrees with the standard study. This gamma trend is independent of temperature and normal load, but at the same bloody velocity, higher temperature or lower normal loads correspond to smaller friction force. Moreover, the friction force at straight 1.0 remain in the small range and are always less than those at strain 0. Thus, the variation trend of friction curves with the strain 0.1 is not obvious with increase of sliding velocity. Similarly, the magnitude of the friction can be attributed to the inner barrier than that tip atoms need to need to overcome for jumping over the corrugation of the substrate surface. Figure three B shows the inner barrier when the slide velocity is twelve and uh, twenty four, and the applied strain are zero and zero. 0.1 respectively. The results indicate that reduces the normal load and increases the tensile strain while declines the barrier height. More obviously, when strain is zero, the barrier height increases with increasing slide velocity. For example, the barrier height at 24 meters per second is greater than that and 12. 12. However, when the strain is 0 0.1, the bearing, the barrier difference between different slide velocities is not obvious, leading to almost equal friction and different slide spin in figure 3a. In Posey, the actual tensile strain directly changes the lattice constant of the graphene. Thus, Affected the peri periodic potential of uh, its atomic interaction during sliding. The potential energy topography can be obtained by sliding a small square graphic deep over a graphic substrate with different strengths, different from the brick model. one, both the deep and the substrate are set as rigid, rigid bodies which eliminates the influence of film flexibility on the parent of potential energy. The results show that the potential energy difference decreases from 6.48 to 0.41 when the strain increases from 1 to 0 0.1, as shown in figures 4a and 4b. Figure 4a shows the potential energy Topography of deep and substrate when when strain is zero, the potential energy period of deep and substrate is constant due to the lattice alignment and the lattice length of potential energy along the 
zigzag direction is <coughs> Mm. Where A is come come bound lens, Big 4B displaces the potential energy topography of the substrate when mm, when the strain is 0 0.1 and the slightly parent lens is not pony. The current length of the potential energy in tip still remains since the strain is applied only to the substrate. Figure 5 displays the FFT spectrum of its tenuous friction from other different strains, normal loads, and slightly spin. Obviously, the components of the friction located at several discrete frequencies. Further investigation reveals that these discrete frequencies are the washboard frequency and its harmonic frequencies of the tip generated by relative motion and marked by blue dash lines in figure 5. The friction forms of the established friction system in figure 1 can be obtained by the screw forms acting on on tip atom along the x axis and the total superfluence is calculated and fs equal and case the fft of the superfluence is actually the fft of the tip's displacement that is the fft spectrum actually represents the vibration frequencies and amplitude of the tip Figure 5 and figure 5a and 5b indicate that the vibration amplitude has all frequencies with the case of of strain of strain 0 0.01 are lower than those with the strain uh, 0. Analysis of the figures 5b and 5c we obtain that with the increase of slightly velocity, the distribution range of frequencies becomes wider and the amplitude is larger. For example, when the slightly velocity is n, the vibration amplitude can only be observed and harmonics, harmonics within 0.22. However, when the slightly velocity is 24. The amplitude is still apparent even and the frequency is above 0 0.35 g hertz. Figure 5D displays the FFT spectrum with the same string and the velocity, but it has the normal loss compared to that to figure 5B. The results clearly show that the vibration amplitude and on harmonic frequencies except washboard frequency increases obviously. The peak in the FFT spectrum suggests that the friction force is dominated by the contribution of the washboard frequency and its harmonic components. It is also pointed out that the Elastic condition of the exact surface need to the dissipation of the friction energy, thus the higher vibration amplitude of the tip and different frequencies need to more energy dissipation, which could explain the result of friction from C fix 2A and 3A. The friction forms is unperversely reduced by increasing the temperature both in figures 2C and 3A. In these regards, the vibrational characteristics and different temperatures are further calculated. Figure 6A shows the FFT spectrum with the strain 0 at a temperature of 0K and 300K. Respectively, there is little 
difference in vibration frequency and amplitude between causes cases of different temperature according to the conclusion obtained in figure 5 if the FFT spectrum does not show a significant change, the friction force could be almost a constant. I expected, I expected the friction force with temperature 0K is obviously greater than that with temperature 300K. Therefore, we speculate that the reason for this anonymity may be the effect of thermal phonos caused by the background temperature. To validate this conjecture, the corresponding phone number during the friction phones and 0K and 300K are calculated as shown in figure 6. The results show that the phonos and 300K are far from are far more than, than those and 0K and all frequencies. Because only the temperature changes in these percents, it is certain that the extra phonos and 300K belong to the background thermal phonos. The decrease of friction phones at higher background temperature can be attributed to the thermal phonon lubrication in the study process, which is consistent with the conclusion of thermal lubrication studied before. The energy dissipation efficient, efficiency in the a friction per se depend on how whether phonons excited between the tip and substrate coupled. Figure 7 shows the interfacial phonon spectra during the friction process, which are different from the vibration information of eight tip atoms and eight substrate atoms showing the in figure 1. It should be noted that each atom and the connected surfaces is subject to the injection of potential of opposite surface. That is, the washboard frequency of the substrate can be expressed as while the washboard frequency of the chip is, is like this. Therefore, the washboard frequency of the or both are the same with the strain zero. But once the strain is applied to the substrate, the washboard frequencies of the contact Surface are different. The blue dashed lines in figure 7 indicate the washboard frequency and its harmonics. The existence of friction is that relative motion sends no equilibrium phonons and interface. These phonons will eventually be dissipated in the form of equilibrium phonons. Figure 7 demonstrates the number of excited phonons on the substrate during the friction force, which can quantitatively present the magnitude of energy dissipation. The system temperature is stated as 0K, which eventually avoids the entanglement of phonons excited by the background temperature. Here, the empty simulation are uh, used to study the friction of the chip slightly over the graphic substrate with different B actual strains. Firstly, the Barry Hind is used to explain the dependence of friction of strain under the conditions with different slows, temperature, and slightly velocities. The results show that the friction forms at the energy barrier decreases with the increase of strain. This trend does not depend on the formation of the conditions. Secondly, the FFT analysis of extraneous friction forms it is demonstrated that the deep vibration frequency lie on the washboard frequency and it, and its adjacent harmonies and the amplitude of FFT spectrum is significantly different under different strains, normal lines, and slightly spin, which result in the obvious difference of the friction force. However, it is difficult 
to judge a significant change effect for spit different temperatures through the almost same FFT spectrum. Further analysis further analysis of the reason of this result is that the thermal phonons at high temperature have a certain lubricating effect during the friction process. Certainly, in order to further clarify the orange of the energy, energy dispersion in the strain controlled friction, the DOS of the contact surface is, is analyzed when strain is zero. The phonon mode between substrate at deep uncoupled well, forming stable phonal transport channels, which effectively dispense the energy generated by the friction process. Spray is the 0 0.1. The coupling of the phonon modes between surfaces are destroyed. And thus, effective energy dispense channel cannot be established. Finally, the friction force is quantitative Turning and analyzed by using the number of phonons cited in the friction interface, the statistics show that with the increase of strain, the phonons excited in the friction percents are less, resulting in the lower frictional energy dissipation. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Science Father. Thank you.